White grubs are an annual pest that lots of folks deal with in their lawn. White grubs are the larval form of many different kinds of scarab beetles. The main ones that we deal with in turf are mass chafer white grubs, Japanese beetle white grubs, June beetle grubs, and also the green June beetle grub. These grubs, they live beneath the turf itself. They're very cryptic because of that. They live in the thatch and root zone, and many of them feed on the turf grass roots themselves, and that's how they can cause extensive damage. The green June beetle is a little different, doesn't actually feed on the roots of the turf, but when it tunnels through the turf grass, it can create uplifting, which can make sort of a mole-like pattern. But all of this can be very unsightly. People don't want to deal with it. And so sometimes people want to treat for grubs. There's a couple of different ways that we can manage grub problems. There's a preventative method, and then there's the curative method. Preventative is usually used on golf courses and on sports fields so that they don't have any grub damage whatsoever. That's high value turf. We have to keep it looking nice and pristine. And so they treat in the month of June, typically with a product like a Celeprin. There is a homeowner version of this product called Scott's Grub X. And you can use that on your turf grass and your lawn if you really don't want to have any grub damage. Get that down after Mother's Day in the month of June. Definitely want to get it out before the July 4th. That way the plant has enough time to absorb the product. Then your plants will be systemically protected for this growing season. If a Japanese beetle or a mass chafer lays her eggs in your lawn, it'll hatch out, take a bite of the turf grass roots and go, it'll be dead because they have absorbed that product. Curative is a little different. With curative products, you can see control done with things like Dialox. You can use Clothianidin. You can also use Carbaryl. These products are put down in the fall after grub damage has already occurred. So we're talking late August, early September. You go out into your turf and you see big brown dead patches. And when you pick up on it, it rolls back like a rug from the floor. And when you look underneath, you'll see grubs. If you see six to eight grubs per square foot, it's a good thing to, to go out and treat that so that you can replace the grass that's been damaged. It's not gonna come back, but you can replace that turf and then hopefully treat those grubs so that they'll not be there damaging that new grass. You can get a professional to come in and use those products or you can apply them yourself. If you don't wanna use synthetic insecticides on your grass and use those against the grubs, there are some biological control options. Nematodes do work against white grubs. You can buy those at a gardening store or have a professional apply them. They do need to be watered in, just like those early season grub insecticides. So you get the product down into the root zone. You get those nematodes down in there, they'll infest the grubs and kill them. You can also just use good turf care practices and make your turf grass healthy. The healthier turf is, the more it's gonna be resilient to grub damage. So raising your mowing height, good fertilization practices and good irrigation will help make your turf nice and sturdy so that the grub damage won't affect it as much.